A massive power outage is not what you want to wake up to on a Monday morning, but that's what 300 million people in New Delhi are dealing with today. Grid failure left much of northern India without power in the worst blackout in more than a decade. Commuters couldn't get to work by train during the morning's rush hour, and there was havoc on the roads as stoplights failed. Officials say the power outage may have been caused by a mix of coal shortages and other problems. Metro on services the grid. in Delhi that were completely halted after the breakdown in the northern power grid have been partially resumed. The train services in the affected areas in the rest of northern India have been resumed as well. Pooja Shelley is with me. Uh, live from uh, New Delhi. Pooja, take us through the latest uh, you are hearing. We believe that some of those affected train services have been resumed. That's right. It's been a massive uh, power grid failure across North Indian states, uh, including Himachal Pradesh, Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, uh, including the national capital. This happened at around 2.33 a.m. last night. What sources are telling us that uh, in, in the power ministry that it would take another few hours for complete restoration to take place. But at this point, uh, there was uh, the reason was a technical snag uh, near Agra due to which this massive power grid failure has taken place. As of now, as you can see behind me, the metro station uh, located at a very significant place. There are government offices adjacent uh, to this specific metro station and, and at this hour it is generally jam-packed but uh, now that uh, the services have been partially resumed and uh, people are travelling now by metro services but it is going to take still uh, some more hours before all the services are completely resumed because let's remember that we are talking about a power grid failure across North India where train services also were impacted but uh, we are being told that uh, train services have been now restored. It will take some time because there has been a lag since last night. But clearly a Monday morning, not an easy start for passengers who are going to use uh, uh, the metro services. The burden is now on auto and uh, bus services. So uh, the, the power grid failure across North India since uh, 2 a.m. last night. In the next few hours, we are being told that services right. will I'm be back to normal. I'm going to you back over to you. there, Pooja. Also joining me on the phone line right now is An Anil Saxena. He's the CPRO. Mr. Saxena, thanks for speaking to Times. Now, how long long will it take you to restore those train services completely across North India? Oh, well, uh, as you might be aware now, we have uh, restored our uh, train operations because uh, the electrical supply in the railway network has been restored. So, uh, so the trains were held up for quite some time, so that lag will be there, they will be behind schedule. But movement has become normal. All the trains which were stuck because of the uh, this big failure, northern grid failure, they have all resumed their, their movements. So they are, uh, and uh, we are giving priorities to passenger carrying trains. Uh, we'll take uh, goods train afterwards once the tracks are available for them to move. Uh, Thank you.